Eligibility criteria for filing your migration skill assessment from Engineers Australia. If you are an engineer and want to file your migration skill assessment under any engineering occupation category, then this video is for you. So, your skill assessment will be done by the famous assessment body called the Institute of Engineers Australia. Institute of Engineers Australia, generally known as Engineers Australia or AIA is the designated assessing authority for most of the engineering occupations. But Engineers Australia doesn't do skill assessments for computer science engineers and ICT professionals. For ICT professionals you have to file assessments from the Institute of Engineers Australia. Engineers Australia recognises four occupational categories within the engineering practice in Australia, Professional Engineer, Engineering Technologist, Engineering Associate, Engineering Manager. For migration purposes, the additional category of Engineering Manager is also recognised and is assessed by Engineers Australia. In this video, we have mentioned the detailed education requirements and key responsibility areas for filing migration skill assessment under each category. Being an engineer, you must meet the eligibility criteria on the basis of education and job skill profile. Another thing to focus on before filing your assessment in a particular occupation category is the key responsibility area that the applicant actually handles. So, let's see the education eligibility criteria and KRA for each engineering occupation category. First and the most preferred category for skill assessment by the engineers are professional engineers, so let's see, what is the required education qualification for filing a CDR skill assessment as a professional engineer. If you want to file your migration skill assessment under the occupation category of professional engineer then the required academic qualification is an Australian four-year or equivalent bachelor's degree in engineering at a university or affiliated college, following 12 years of schooling or comparable education. Now we will see that what are the key responsibility areas that a professional engineer must handle for filing CDR skill assessment. The professional engineer must do the following. Focuses on overall systems. Pursues engineering opportunities in a holistic way, taking environmental, community and social issues into account. Applies systematic approaches to the conduct and management of engineering projects, applies systematic engineering synthesis and design processes, applies established engineering methods to complex engineering problems, applies leadership and management skills. The second category which engineers generally prefer for assessment application is engineering technologists so let's see. What are the key responsibilities and qualification requirements for an engineering technologist to file Migration Skill Assessment CDR? Education requirements. The required academic qualification is an Australian three-year Bachelor of Technology degree in engineering following 12 years of schooling or comparable education. Key responsibility area. The engineering technologist must do the following. Focuses on interactions within the system. Applies established engineering methods, techniques, tools, and resources within the technology domain. Advances in engineering technology. The next category is engineering associates, so do you want to know that? What are the key responsibilities and qualification requirements for an engineering associate to file Migration Skill Assessment CDR? Education requirements. To file your skill assessment as an engineering associate, the required academic qualification is an Australian two-year advanced diploma or associate degree in engineering following 12 years of schooling or comparable education. Key responsibility area. The job role of an engineering associate should include. It focuses on specific elements of the system, operates within codes and applies established practices and procedures, provides technical support to construction managers and engineering professionals in research, design, manufacture, assembly, construction, operation, and maintenance of machines and equipment, facilities, distribution systems, and installations, assists in resource estimation and site inspection, prepares, interprets, inspects, and revises drawings, plans, diagrams, designs, maps, and charts.
Engineering managers can file their assessment from Engineers Australia or the Australian Institute of Management. Here we will see that. What are the key responsibilities and qualification requirements for an engineering manager to file Migration Skill Assessment CDR from Engineers Australia? Education requirements. The required academic qualification is generally a bachelor's degree or higher in engineering or in an engineering-related field following 12 years of schooling or comparable education. The engineering manager does the following key roles in an association. Formulates engineering strategies, policies, and plans and their direction. Administrates and reviews engineering operations for an organization. Applicants should note that this occupation is not an engineering occupation, but rather belongs to the manager's ANZSCO group. Consequently, a positive outcome will not allow automatic membership with Engineers Australia. Please note, unlike other engineering profiles, it is mandatory for engineering manager applicants to apply for the relevant skilled employment assessment along with the migration skill assessment. We believe that you must have got a lot of information from this video. Till now we have explained to you every essential detail regarding all the eligible engineering profiles for skill assessment now we will see how at we can assist you with our service to get a successful positive outcome for your skill assessment application. A2ZCDR.com is a subunit of Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited that provides all services related to migration skill assessment from Engineers Australia. You can take our services for writing a professional CDR that will meet the standards established by Engineers Australia. Reviewing your CDR, if you have already prepared a CDR then our experts can review it for competency mapping and do the necessary editing. Plagiarism detection and correction, if you have referred to some online resources, reports, previously written CDR then there can be chances of plagiarism. You can take our services to check plagiarism in your file and to reduce it or eliminate it from your CDR. We provide the Turnitin Plagiarism Check Report that is globally accepted and is also recommended by AIA. Filing your migration skill assessment, with an experience of years, our experts can guide you or can file your MSA application within the given time frame. We can also assist you with all kinds of employment-related drafts, cover letters and reply writing for any correspondence with the assessor. You can also communicate with us if your assessor has demanded any specific documents from you while your application process. So that's all about this video, I believe that this video must have cleared a lot of doubts and would have provided you with a piece of important information. So, send your comments if you want to know anything else. Also, watch our complete CDR related video series before filing your assessment. The link for the playlist is given in the description. Thanks for watching this video.